everyone, it's Jen Lucas. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Yarn Purpose. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do the cable cast on. Hey everyone, it's Jen, welcome back. Today I was just going to show you quickly how to do the cable cast on. One of my friends was looking at a pattern recently that called for the cable cast on and she wasn't sure how to do it so I thought I would just make this tutorial video to help her out or any of you that are curious about how to do it. So to start we are going to just put a slip knot onto our needle. You don't have to worry about a long tail with this cast on which is nice. You can just leave enough of a tail to weave in your end. And then to start, we're going to have that slip knot on our left hand needle. With our right hand needle, we're going to go into that stitch like we're knitting, pull the loop through, and then pop this stitch on to the needle. So that's just like almost, it is, you're just doing a knitted on cast on. Then to do the cable cast on, we're actually going to take our right hand needle now and go in between these two stitches. So you can see here I actually went in between the two stitches. So going in between the two stitches, I'm gonna wrap a loop of yarn around like I'm knitting, pull it through, and then bring it on to the left hand needle. And then you're gonna just repeat that process for the number of stitches you need for your pattern. Again, going in between the two stitches, wrap a loop of yarn around, bring it through, and take that loop and put it back onto the left hand needle. So this is a pretty easy cast on. I find that it is not as stretchy as other cast ons. So where I tend to see it a lot is on garments, maybe a buttonhole if you have to cast on um, extra stitches in the middle of a row, say for a buttonhole or even um, if you needed to add um, stitches for the underarm of like a, for where a sleeve is gonna go or something, um, this might be a good cast on for you. Cause again, I just find it to be not as stretchy as other cast on. So it's not necessarily the best one to use, say on the bottom of a bottom up lace shawl or something like that. Um, but if you haven't tried it before, I encourage you to try it. I do really like the look of this cast on. So that's it for me for today. Uh, stay tuned because next week I will show you how to do the matching cable bind off. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, including the cable bind off video, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want. You can turn on notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new video, which is most Fridays. So that's it for me for today. I hope everybody has a great week and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.